Hey guys, it's Megan and Liz and today on our beauty channel We decided we want to show you guys how to get a natural hair and makeup look mm -hmm. that we actually wore on the Macy's Great American Road Trip And you know, it's also a really great look for summer and to help us we're gonna have Heather Hey yes. Heather. Hey, Heather hey. did our hair and makeup for the Macy's Great American Road Trip mm -hmm. And you know, she's gonna show us and you how to achieve this look. Yes today Today's look is going to be a natural wave look. Ooh. Something that is convertible proof. One of the things that I love about Liz's hair is that she has a really beautiful natural wave. So we're going to utilize that, but we are gonna cheat a little bit by just kind of smoothing out some of these waves and also creating some texture with some products. So the first step, with prepping her hair would be using this uh, salt spray, which we will distribute evenly throughout her hair. Kind of giving it a little bit of a scrunch to kind of help that natural wave along. And then next, we're going to put a little bit of defrizz serum throughout her hair. And now we're just gonna start by taking a couple sections of her hair opening the curling iron and just wrapping it around. You don't even necessarily need to close the curling iron. You can just kind of hold it against the rod and let it set. There we go. Now you do want to make sure that you have wavy hair to do this look. Mm -hmm. This look would not necessarily work on Megan's hair, but it will work on this. And now her hair is Really wavy. Road and trip ready? Road trip ready. We are going to do our clean, fresh face road trip makeup look on Megan today. Mm -hmm. We want it to be very Americana. Yeah, we gotta keep it fresh, you know, when you're on the road, you know, you don't wanna have a whole face full of makeup because you're gonna be in the car, you're gonna be in a bunch of different climates. So you just gotta keep it clean and simple. So we are going to start by just prepping her skin. I'm going to start with a little bit of toner just to kind of remove some of the excess oils and balance her pH levels in her skin. Oh. Then we're going to do what I call creating a clean canvas. So we're just going to use a little bit of a tinted moisturizer just to even out her skin tones. And it really creates that glowing look and it still shows your natural skin kind of shining through underneath. We're just gonna go over any spots that we see, like usually for everyone it's under the eyes a little bit. We're going to kind of manicure her eyebrows a little bit by just brushing her eyebrows up, filling in any little areas where we need to add a little more volume. And then you can blend that by just brushing again. Now I'm going to do what I call contouring. We're gonna use a slightly darker bronzer or blush. Just gonna kind of enhance and bring out that nice dip under her cheekbone. And then we wanna take something a little bit corally to just put on the apples of her cheeks. And then for the crease, I'm gonna use something that's kind of a shimmery taupe, just under the, the brow bone. So when you open your eyes, it's right here. Now this is a little advanced. <laughs> We're going to use a cream liner and a little kind of paint brush for the eyeliner. I like to use the back of my hand to kind of wipe off any excess I like to have my clients close their eyes and lift their eyebrows. And you're just gonna kind of follow that lash line. And then if you need to do any blending, you can kind of come back with this foundation brush and just clean up any boo-boos on the end. <laughs> now, after you're applying eyeshadow and eyeliner, sometimes you get a little bit under the eyes. Mm -hmm. Again, with the brush, you can just go under and just erase all that. Now we're going to apply mascara. Mm -hmm. But first we need to use the eyelash curler. <laughs> I 
and just give it one good squeeze. No need to pump. <laughs> We're going to apply the mascara. For Megan's lip color, we're gonna do something that's just a really nice like step up from her natural lip tone. Almost like blush for the lips. Just a tiny bit of gloss, shine. And that's our look. <laughs> Voila. So thank you so much to Heather for uh, coming out and helping us show these looks today. <laughs> and make sure you check out our crazy adventures mm -hmm. on the Macy's Great American Road Trip on our YouTube channel. Yes. And the quote for this video is, there's enough room in the universe for all the stars to shine. And to us, this really just means, you know, you have to focus on being you and not worry about everybody else mm -hmm. and, you know, shine for yourself. There's plenty of room to shine. Yeah, just worry about being the best that you can be. Mm -hmm.